Yeah, digital time comes in in the upper grade curriculum, and but the, we don't ever we do normal time first on a clock, which is hard <laughs> for any child to pick up. Um, counting by fives sometimes, not counting by fives. It's just it's difficult. And then once they kind of have that mastered down, then we match it to the digital number. And usually they can pick it up quickly. They can you know they can match them pretty quickly because if you know if you think about it. Cars, iPods, cell phones, everybody's looking at digital time. But the way that the curriculum is written is that we teach time on a, you know, your normal clock first and then you kind of move to digital. But once they once they have that understanding of the framework, okay, you know, 60 minutes in an hour, then they can match it pretty quickly. And so it makes sense once they have understood how to tell time in the beginning. I have a clock that has the minute hands you know, written, so like by the three, there's a little tiny 15. And so that way they can, oh, this, you know, it's 9.15. So they look at, they match the colors of the hour hand to the colors of the hour numbers and the color of the minute hand to match the minute numbers. And so that helps. And, you know, people are like, you're giving them a crutch, but it's, telling time is very hard. It's developmentally very difficult for first graders. So. Yeah, I would, I would start out with a regular clock, and then once they have shown that they can master that, then, you know, we would say, okay, now there's all these different kinds of clocks. You can have it on a watch, you can have a digital, you can have analog, you can have, you know, whatever. Um, but, but unless you teach it on a regular clock first, I guess they're not going to really make that connection. It's just random numbers, you know, and so... Um, I've had kids before, you know, they'll do five and then 60 because they think, you know, if you're going from minutes from 55 to 60, they don't realize it's an hour. And so once they see it and they figure it out on a regular clock, then we'll move on and do digital. But we don't really spend a lot of time teaching digital time because it kind of, it's a, it's a natural skill that comes along with telling time, you know, with a normal clock.